Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I'm in quick mode today. Um, I want to have a look at the Archangels. I felt that yesterday. Now, I haven't really done much studying myself, but I did come across a video that I'm going to put in the, des the description box, um, along with details on how to book yourself a reading. Um, or if you would like an eye done by Megan, the watching eye, that's still, um, she's still quite happy to paint you guys um, like a third eye, a watching eye for you. Anyway, details in the description box. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, Archangels. Okay. So, busy day today I have. Um, it's 13.36. Okay. I've pulled out the yellow cards. We've got abundance here. Oh, interesting. We've got abundance with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, that's nice. So I've pulled out the solar plexus today is what we're looking at. The um, It's yellow day. Grab yourself a cup of sunshine. I told you I'm in quick mode today. You're going to have to keep up with me. Okay. We're going places. Anyway, I am going to use the Archangel Power Tarot cards. <clears throat> the Secret Language of Colour cards, of course. Um, let me just get rid of this box. I have my um, Chakra Wisdom books. Here, we shall do a little bit of reading. It's interesting today, actually. What I do try and read what it says before I actually turn the camera on. So, and then we're going to go with the flow. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull 11 of those um, Archangel Power Tarot cards to go with the 11 uh, Chakra Wisdom Tarot cards. First, we're going to the Chakra Wisdom Oracle. Yellow. Explore your thought processes. Okay, the overall impression is intellectual. The keywords, creative, intellect, precise, cooperative, reasonable, innovative, originality, wisdom and instinct. Okay, the manifesting intention. The yellow cards of the third chakra, the solar plexus chakra, reveal our planning processes. Do we have a logical or a scattered approach? <laughs> Feeling a bit scattered at the moment, okay? Because they represent thinking and problem solving. Yellow cards reveal our ability to resolve issues. In essence, they show what's on our mind. Okay. In yellow, we turn on the lights and let the spirits know we are home. And I thought that was perfect, seeing as I wanted to like tap into the archangels. I was actually thinking about not doing a reading and just thinking, well, you can just tap into your angels for today's guidance. But no, we're keeping with the program. Okay. So in yellow, we turn on the lights and let the spirits know we are home. If we don't let them know where we are, they cannot bring us our desires. Ultimately, the third chakra, chakra relates to our instinct and to how our life is directed by it. When we can see how our instinct guides our thoughts, we will understand why we do what we do. And when it relates to our emotions, instinct is frequently the first thing that gets shut down. Remember what I said? Look to the previous chakra, the second chakra in this case, if you feel blocked. Every decision we have ever made is made in a flash, to move forward or to stop. There is a moment, a split second, in which we decide. In this chakra you decide if you will allow magic into your life. I just thought that was awesome. Let's go to the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. So the um, solar plexus is about making plans. What you think and where that is leading you. Okay. I shall just read this part and then we'll get on with some guidance for um, the light workers who are working with clients today. The third chakra meaning. Our third chakra is where our gut instinct lies as well as our thoughts, plans, and the path we take. These cards are concerned with thinking, quick action, and responses. The fight or flight reflex may be ignited by the second chakra's emotional reaction to circumstances facing us, but it is in the third chakra that we make the decision to take a stand or flee. Okay. Lightworker guidance. yellow 
You are in fight or flight, decisive, let's do this mode today. Your focus may be on plans, thoughts, ideas or action. Most definitely. Okay, what to watch out for then? Inadvertently invalidating painful feelings. If a client feels invalidated, it can shut down their ability to hear what you are saying, even if it is brilliant. Always inquire if they are in a place to take action or make plans before suggesting a plan. The supportive intention. Breathe and slow down. Sync up with your client's vibrational chakra energy. Remember that you can validate feelings without condoning them. Acknowledging the upset without trying to calm it will offer the client a chance to feel heard. Okay. There you have it. Okay. We're whizzing through it today. Fight or flight mode. Decisive. Okay. Wanted to make plans. Action. Following your gut. Your gut instinct. Now let's pull these. Um, let me just put these over here for a second. I'm going to pull the 11 Archangel Power Tarot cards. Let's give them a good shuffle. Now they're going to mention, I did have a look at the book to see whether or not it actually give us any description regarding um, Archangels and their purpose. And it doesn't. It does tell you, obviously, within the, um, within the card meaning. But there isn't like a you know, biography. <laughs> but I did find this video, it's on for about 10 minutes I believe, and it does go through the seven archangels. And I found it quite interesting. I watched this last night. I am going to be doing some more studying on the archangels. Um, we're just not going into too much depth today. So let me pull 11 cards. For this sunshiny day. It's a beautiful day, guys. Okay. One. Ooh, a bit colourful. Blue, purple, pink, green. One more. I'm not looking at uh, the actual messages yet or the pictures, really. Blue, purple, pink, green, pink. Orange. Orange. Purple. What's going on? Blue. And blue. And then the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy, is, okay, Let's have a look at this first and then I shall tap into the story. We're going to clarify with these 11 um, yellow Chakra Wisdom cards. Oracle cards. No, tarot cards. We've got the lovers. Listen, make up your mind. Make choices from the heart. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. Archangel Raphael is the underlying energy here. Okay, I can see him on the table once in the seven of Raphael. It's time to make a decision, be clear on what you want and take action and need for detoxification. So we have the lovers here, the underlying energy. I've got to try and make some um, story out of this. <clears throat> I'm going to read the lovers. Card number six. This card encourages encourages you to follow your heart. We're working on the heart tomorrow. Deep felt emotions are likely to be experienced as a key relationship enters your life. This could be a romantic partnership that leads to marriage or someone you feel a very close but platonic connection with. Either way, this is an individual you can trust completely and the relationship is likely to be life-changing in a very positive way. Archangel Raphael can help you manifest the soulmate relationship or deep friendship that you desire. This card can also indicate an extremely import important choice that needs to be made. This decision should be made from the heart, 
with absolute devotion to the outcome and without reservation. If there is any question in your mind as to how to proceed, then you must take time to weigh the matter and choose carefully. Okay, the additional meanings of this card, the power of love, the need for careful deliberation, a fork in the road, recovery from a physical ailment. Let's hold this card up. What was just shouting out is especially about having um, close connections with people that you can trust. Um, whether that is your uh, your true love, your romantic destined soulmate, or whether it's um, a soulmate as in a very close friend. But it looks like someone's about to show up on the scene. Someone that you can trust. So Archangel Raphael is the angel who watches over those who are seeking a soulmate. So it does make me feel as if it's, it's some form of soulmate. They're going to be good for your soul, okay? Like a breath of fresh air. So whether the desired relationship is romantic, a close friendship, or even career-based, Raphael can help you make the perfect connection. He is also known as the angel who protects our physical health. Call upon him when you or someone you know isn't feeling well and needs healing. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, story that's on my table. We've got the Eight of Michael. Uh, there's a fork in the road here. This is what I found. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation and not seeing things clearly. Divine feminine there. I feel like the fork in the road is for the masculine, not the divine feminine. I feel like she's through the garden gate. She's through the gate. Like into uh, living heaven here, now, on earth. Okay, so I feel the Divine Feminine has brought heaven to, to earth. You can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So Divine Masculine, you can be free, you can live heaven here on earth without having to uh, well, run yourself into the ground. Should we say it like that? So the Eight of Michael. And we have the three of coins, wow, working in partnership. So the divine feminines here, they know this, they're free. It's like they're um, adding their finishing touches. Wow. The three of coins. So divine feminine, time for you to add your finishing touches. You have the high priest here, Archangel Hanyol. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information and be at peace. Divine Feminine, this is definitely involving your career. Like I said, I wasn't sure what was actually coming in, but it feels very much it's your career. And it's going to be warmly welcomed, some support, guidance, um, and also working alongside someone that you can trust. The Tower. Okay. Now we see the devil coming out of this. I want to say you're escaping from towers, from towers, the twin towers, seriously. Um, and it does look like the masculine here. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with him yet, but it, this hasn't really affected you. It's time for you. That crown is just about to fall and land on your head, Divine Feminine. Okay, so trust that there's going to be some information coming through. Are you home? It's like... Hello? Oh, should I tap on the head? Hello, are you in? Because the angels are trying to um, to get a very uh, important connection through to you. Okay, the tower. The universe has stepped in with the high priestess, with the divine feminine. Now we can see a masculine here on his horse and it says, trustworthy, understanding, devoted and funny. Now there's an angel here who is a feminine, um, she's busy working, I feel that's you Divine Feminine. Now I do feel like it could be a masculine energy, so should we just say the opposite sex to what you are um, that's coming in to assist. There is so much to accomplish, this is like the Divine Feminine's energy, it's like chop chop, come on, things to get on with, make a very detailed plan, 
and being watched over by someone kind. So definitely here, um, the Archangels. Look, I have this feeling that there is a masculine here who's coming in. Okay. Ten of coins, there it is. That's someone to work with. That's a legacy. What's going on in this picture here? Oh, there's a happy family here. It's to do with the picture that you're painting, Divine Feminine. Okay, so you have to keep adding those finishing touches to your portrait, to your vision. Because that's what's coming in, that's what's being delivered. I feel like Divine is saying to you, the Archangels are saying, we are delivering what it is that you desire, but you keep needing, you keep, you have to keep. So I tell them what to do. It would be wise if you just kept adding to the vision. Blush stroke by blush stroke. I was going to go to <laughs> different strokes then. What do you talk about, Willis? <laughs> blush strokes. Uh, that, that was a TV, an English TV program as well. I think it, no, that's bread. Gotta get up, gotta get down. <laughs> okay, there was also a show called Blush Strokes. Well, We've got some painter, decorator stuff going on here. Designing that life, that home. Uh, you've got this very colourful palette in front of you and it's like, how are you going to colour your life? Six of Raphael, making a decision. Now, as soon as we have um, Archangel Raphael as the underlying energy, um, we're going to read this before I pull up a, a chakra tarot card. This is the right book. Seven of Raphael. Okay, this will help you. Pay attention. Pick a colour. Pick a pot. What colour do you like? Look at that yellow right in the middle there. <laughs> it's next to the orange, but it's right there in today's wishing well. Looks like it's going into green. I've got a green kind of dress on today. So I'm wearing tomorrow's colour. It's cool. Okay, so the yellow is with the orange. time to make a decision. You may feel the situation is too complicated, but further research will reveal the right course of action. Intuition provides useful guidance on how to sort through all the possible choices. Listen to your inner voice. Don't be lulled into daydreams. Get clear on what you want and then take action without looking back. If you're drawn to a particular bucket on the card, just got to turn the page. If you are drawn to a particular bucket on the card, the chakra colour holds meaning and guidance in making your choices. I'm drawn to this blue one. Looks like the throat chakra. <clears throat> Additional meanings of the card. Unrealistic expectations, procrastination, confusion, indulging in excesses and a need for detoxification. And the message that just keeps coming through is, stop worrying about what other people are doing and worry about what you're doing with your life. And it really does kind of like shift you. But stop worrying about what others are doing. Worry about what you're doing. Focus on that. What are you doing with your life? And the rest would just magically appear, it will find its way to you, it will catch up. If it's meant to, it will catch up. Okay, seven of Raphael, seven of cups. Ten of swords, divine feminine. It's time to get up. Okay, you're, this is about you not looking back. Okay, you're focusing on your future now um, and you're designing that. It's within, this is all to do with how you're thinking. Okay, your planning process. Time to get up. I'm going to read the Ten of Swords. The, re the recovery from unavoidable defeat. The nine... We're not... Oh, okay, the nine. It threw me. Listen, it's good. It's still the ten. They're just talking about the nine. The nine, I feel like we're talking about the number jacks, anyway. Okay. 
The Nine of Swords indicated emotional devastation in the second chakra. Here in the third chakra, the winter of despair is slowly melting. Rejoining life may feel overwhelming, but healing has begun. The chakra message, the depth of sorrow, of sorrow, mm, of sorrow, okay. The depth of sorrow is never as great as the love felt. This may be a time to recover, hit rock bottom, leave a job, feel the pain lifting. Lots of people I know at the moment are choosing to leave their jobs. They're not happy. Just feel this draw to start again, have this new life, start over. The indication, do not rush yourself. It is more important to allow yourself to be than to force a plan when you may not really want to move on yet. That's why it's my brush stroke. Just little finishing touches to your to your um, vision, okay? Just to keep that vision alive. Keywords, liberation, collapse, overkill, exhaustion, depression, obsessive thoughts. Okay, I'm gonna read the reverse meaning of this because it really is up to you whether you focus on what others are doing more than what you're focusing on what you're doing. Okay, so the reverse meaning is rebuilding a comeback, trusting your gut and feeling cornered. The meditation, be proud of the depth of pain, for this also expands the capacity for joy. You did the greatest of all things, you took a risk. Soon you can go further and wider than you ever thought possible. Write down or meditate on all of your great qualities. White butterfly, it could be like a dandelion wish <laughs> that just flew outside. Lovely blue skies out there. Okay, let's have a look at the contemplation. If you had the courage to make a stand for your new direction, would your life look like you were free and autonomous? Focus on what you're doing. So many people focused on what other people were doing, distracting them from focusing on their own lives. Okay, now we have the Queen of Ariel. That's brilliant. That's what you are, Divine Feminine. Mature, practical, generous and happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical and wise advice. You're stepping into your uh, Divine Feminine energy, the Queen of Pentacles here. That's the Divine Mother, the Nurturer, Mother Earth. You have this uh, Archangel with you, Archangel Ariel. Okay, I keep spitting everywhere. Why do we keep spitting our words out? In a rush, in a rush. We can calm down, it's all good. When you know what you're wanting to be doing, then uh, you just kind of want to get on with it. Why, why wait? Okay, three of swords, there you go. Take them swords out of your heart. It's like you feel, you feel, you feel like you've taken your heart out, had a little examine of it, pulled out everything that was kind of stuck in there that hurt. It was like it's a pin cushion. Pull them out, okay, and then your heart's going to be able to heal. Three of swords. Wow. It's like you're not going to allow this torture to torture you anymore. So let's have a look at the uh, three of swords. I don't know why we're going for the... Okay. The card of painful thoughts. We don't want those anymore, do we, Divine Feminine? Hand them over. I felt like you are actually going to give them to this Archangel, okay? She sends her emotion... It's a long card, sorry. <laughs> the image of the heart is orange and yellow indicating mental anguish. Will she recognise that the pain is over, then change her thinking and progress? The prognosis is good. This card points to choices that no longer support you and may indicate false friends. You may be coping with loss or struggling with defeatish thoughts. 
Indication, someone can love you and still leave. Knowing what a person is thinking will not bring relief. Sometimes it's the right time to declare a pattern complete. Is this paradigm finished? The keyword surgery, painful thoughts, strife, ending. I feel like your heart is healed, like you're, you've healed your own heart. Okay. The meditation, send breath into any pain or discomfort in your solar plexus. Validate any sadness and acknowledge that the pain is real. Allow yourself time to be sad. Lean into the pain and allow your raw emotions to empower you. Contemplation, sadness and loss do not necessarily equal devastation. I feel the devastation is on the masculine side. Okay, Divine Feminine, if your heart, if you don't feel like your heart's already healed, it's most definitely on its way. Okay, just make sure you pull out all those uh, those swords. There's ten here. Felt like it's a pin cushion. Keep being stabbed in the heart by people. Friends, family, um, the ones that we call loved ones. Okay, we need to detoxify our life from false friends, people that just cause us pain. And then you step into the Queen of Ariel. She's mature, practical, generous and happy. Next row. Masculine. <laughs> Seven of Gabriel. Interesting. Um, these first two cards are both orange and they have the same, uh, looks like the same character on there. Um, in one picture she's on her Pegasus and you can't see her wings. And in the other picture, she's standing behind a masculine here. Looks like he's uh, come out of, I don't know, the desert. <sighs> he's in the desert. Um, Arabian Nights, perhaps. What's going on? I'm not sure where the feminine is um, off to. Let's find out a bit more. Seven of Gabriel, the Seven of Wands. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence and claim your personal power. So not allowing this energy really, Divine Feminine, to affect you. You're off. Now the page of Gabriel is energetic, brave, optimistic and playful. And I did kind of state that if they're going to catch up, they will catch up, okay? They're, they're putting the effort, okay? They know what they're needing to do, just like you know what you're needing to do. And if you have that spurge of energy and you just know, oh, now's the time I need to make a decision, I need to get things rolling, the ball rolling. So we have the masculine here, energetic, brave, optimistic and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Well, they have been kind of, well, they've not been on the scene. It's all been a bit boring. So it feels like they've got this kind of surge of um, energy, like a lightning bolt <laughs> a rain a rainbotic a rainbotic rainbow <laughs> i don't know what that means i don't question it let's look at seven of gabriel here because we have the feminine and she is um standing up for what she believes in she has confidence and she's claiming her personal power and uh she's not looking back okay I'm not saying she's leaving anyone behind but whoever's coming with her will be by her side Okay, she's going to focus on her life. It does feel like there was um, somebody coming in, especially as we've got the lovers as the underlying energy. So stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. We've got the High Priestess. Okay, so we had the High Priestess here with the Tower. And I said, Divine Feminine, it's definitely you that isn't really affected by this. You're not dwelling on the past, past heartache. Um, you're creating a new life. You have a new vision here. And there's nothing that's going to stop you. You're just kind of healing that heart, so you'll know whereabouts you are. But know that that energy will come where you're just like, okay, let's get on then. And here you are, the High Priestess. Stand up for what you believe in, have confidence, claim your personal power. Now this is interesting because um, this feminine here is actually holding an image of the High Priestess, and, and that's kind of who she wants to embody the traits of. So let me read this card. Um, as I felt that that's kind of like the guidance for you is to follow suit of the Divine Feminines. 
focus on what you're doing. The High Priestess, let's have a look. The Fool sees who she will, who she will become. The priestess is the every woman. She holds the secrets of feminine power and guards them with her instinct. Her mind is sharp and she protects the tools that the fool must learn in order to survive. Will the priestess share her legacy? Third chakra message, the fool holds the image of what she seeks. Let's come forward and have a look. Need to look at the fingernails, repaint those. Sorry, just off with my thoughts. <laughs> the fool holds the image of what she seeks, though she does not yet know who or what she is looking for. An idea starts occurring to her. She wonders whether this is her brain talking or her intuition. Will she become the vision she seeks? Will you? Mm. Will she become the vision she seeks? Will you? Indication, thinking, critical thinking, teachable, gut instinct and the ability to use it wisely must be embodied. The key words, wisdom, mental, reflection, understanding, discernment. Okay. The planet is Mercury, speaking, writing and consulting, the ability to sum up a situation or a person fairly quickly, a shrewd thinker and decision maker. The energy here is of a sharp mind. Insights into the correct action are possible now. I feel all congested. <clears throat> okay, we're going to get on to the masculines after this card. Here's the meditation. If you had an opportunity to learn from any mentor in the world, alive or in spirit, who would it be? Why? What can they tell you? What would you like to hear, share and learn? Meditate or journal to discover the instinctual pattern you are seeking to copy from your mentor. Ask them to join you and share their experience. Okay, the next steps. Having met the Astur High Priestess, the Fool will now be welcomed into the loving embrace of the Empress, who will support her in fully opening her heart chakra, showing her how to evoke the compassionate person she truly is. I have to wait for tomorrow for that one for the heart chakra. That was an awesome message. Look, it's the Empress next, of course. Page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimistic and playful, divine masculine. Follow your passion, you are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. You need to add venture to your life. <laughs> okay. We're down to the final cards now. Ten of Wands. Will you have your one wand? The Divine Feminine has the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands is normally about carrying a burden. Um, they look like arrows, darts that she has. <laughs> um, this is the energy of the Divine Feminine handling her burdens very well. I've said about, like, it's like she has darts. I felt like there were arrows. It's like, pew, pew. It's like she's darting around everywhere, but doing it so, like... Um, in her pace. It's just a very fast step at the moment. So, Ten of Wands, are we going to read this? I don't want to read this. Okay, let's not read it then. It's a card, card of carrying a burden, and here's the masculine here having a look um, at the Divine Feminine. Doing this. Now we've got the will. There's no beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Now, seeing as the Divine Masculine here needs to be energetic, he's got a kind of put in some action, some motion, and um, some energy. He needs to be brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement, and adventure. And then we move on to the will.
New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Let's read it. Exciting changes are coming. That's why there's this playful energy. You're going to have to be excited about this Divine Masculine because like the boredom, the negativity, the doom and gloom, the Divine Feminine, she's not even going to turn around to look at that. She's off. She's like hop, skipping, jumping um, in her life and it's like you're going to have to rise up to her vibration. There's no way she's coming down to meet you. Okay, you're going to have to rise to the occasion. Excite that might get you excited. Think about rising to the occasion. Okay, focus on that. Exciting changes are coming. The wheel spins with the power of life and turns to bring you prosperous new opportunities. If you've been finding it difficult to get your plans off the ground, that will change now. Sudden movement forward is likely. While the idea of change can sometimes be worrying to people, you must try and know that the universe, you must try, <laughs> you must, I mean, that is a must, you have to put in some effort to my masculine, you've got to try. <laughs> While the idea of change can sometimes be worrying to people, you must trust and know that the universe wants you to be happy. Unexpected events are meant to point you in a direction that will bring you a more joyful and fulfilling life. If you feel uncertain, ask Archangel Jeremiah to give you a clear understanding of where you're headed. So Divine Masculine, you need to tap into Archangel Jeremiah here. The additional meanings of this card are fresh start, optimism for the future and ability to adapt because you're going to have to adapt to this uh, to wanting to be happy ever after that's your decision that's your choice okay Archangel Jeremiah is the angel who can help us see our lives clearly so that we can make assessments about changing circumstances his name means mercy of God and he is and he assists those wanting to review their past in a kind and forgiving way Archangel Jeremiah has the ability to inspire great visions of the future. Call upon him to help when you're seeking inspiration on how to successfully make amazing changes in your life. Let's get a card. Three of Cups. Whoop, so my feminine's off celebrating, okay. Look at them, standing in their glory. Three of Cups. They're not hanging around. They're standing strong as well. Side by side, the Divine Feminine. You can see them here. It's so it's definitely a collective, um, collective movement here for the Divine Feminines towards their um, profession. They're very professional. The Divine Feminine is acting very professional at the moment and precise and quick. Divine Masculine quick. Three of Cups. Yeah, we'll read it. It's okay. Let's do it. The card of celebrated collaboration. The women on the card represent celebrating in their own way. There is a sense that their pattern may have some thought behind it. Chakra message. An emotional start indicating where we learn emotions from and the gift we are offered. So my feminine has been doing the work. We've been doing the work over the last couple of days, like taking the chakras individually, okay, actually learning about them, going in the correct order for change, for manifesting. So an emotional start indicating where we learn emotions from and the gift we are offered. Follow your instinct. It is not the time to worry what others think of how you appear. Indication, be guided by your own instinctual thoughts, regardless of outside opinions. Face your fear and celebrate your accomplishments. What others see may not be what you feel. Keywords, harmony, celebration, socialising, friendship, pregnancy, teamwork. So I feel the Divine Feminines are giving birth to this like new baby, okay? Oh, I picked up about being like Mother Earth. They're birthing this new earth together, the Divine Feminines. Okay. The meditation. Do the three women on the card appear silly or phony? I don't think they actually care what anyone thinks of them. They know their purpose here. And they know their worth. 
So, do, do the three women on the card appear silly or phony? Being seen as foolish can make it challenging to stay focused. It's like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> a plan will withstand judgment. Do you have that clarity? Oh, yeah. Onwards and upwards, guys. Onwards and upwards. Contemplation. Get ready to focus on connecting with like-minded people for your mutual excellence. That's my masculine. The will's here for you. There's a new beginning if you wish to take up that offer. Okay. But you've got to offer it to yourself first. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. It is your choice, no divine masculine. But you're being shown by Archangel Michael here. He will be stern with you. Okay? And he will also help protect you and to fight through anything that you find challenging. And he's showing you the, the light side here. And it does look like you're still in the shadow there. Okay, let's have a look. Because there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Let's read the book then. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Ask yourself... What am I really trying to accomplish? Think about whether working alone on this project is a good idea. Is your unique point of view providing creative solutions or is it causing you to miss important details? Go over the details again. Your angels want you to be a success in this endeavour and are giving you a heads up with this card. There is probably more... What is there? Probably more. Oh, there's probably more going on here than meets the eye. Someone may have ulterior motives. You're not sure who to trust. That's understandable. You need to trust you, okay? Above all, you need to trust you and divine. Additional meanings of this card, the need for caution, poor timing and running away. Well, let's have a look. Are you running away? Ten of Cups. Mm, it's there. It's there for you, Divine Masculine, down that light path. Ten of Cups. Do you want to hear what the Ten of Cups is like? Let's do it. You've got the Ten of Pentacles here. Is that you there? You like the picture that's being painted. You can add to it, you know. You can add some of your creation to it as well. Okay. It's like, it's a, uh, it's an endeavour. It's a project made for two. A project. It's a lifestyle made for two. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Should we just find the Ten of Cups? Oh, it's... It's the wrong book, that's why. It was just nice to flip through and see. But your look sweet upon a seat On a bicycle made for two The card of emotional bliss. She supports creative endeavours for herself and others, creating family peace, emotional delight, gathering and healing. She allows her service her, her surface her surface. She allows her service to reflect love. Well if she allows her surface to reflect love then the divine feminine is being it. Shining bright. Chakra message this card means choosing to do for others and to plan happy events for those closest to you. Relationships like people, ebb and flow. Give equally to those you love and include yourself. Indication. Beware the difference between service and servitude. Find bliss for yourself and live not for others. Keywords. New home. Idealism. Destiny. Family. Appreciation. Harmony. And a new beginning. The meditation. This 
third chakra suggests that you followed your instinct to create what you now have. Meditate on your family of origin, sorting through emotional wounds and turning them into new thoughts brings healing. The contemplation. Let's hold this up. What if it can be better? What if it can be better? What if it can get better than better? What if it could be better? What if it could be get better than better? Oh my. But you've got the page of Michael as a stalker card. Okay. Truthful perspective. Sorry, perspective. A truthful perspective. Truthful perspective. Analytical and blunt. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Oh, let me get the last card. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. Only two cards here. Let's have a drink. It's up to you, Divine Masculine. You've got the Hermit here. Um, and it feels like it's going all the way back to your root chakra. So it might be worthwhile actually watching Monday's video again and pick an object if you did not already do so. Uh, it seems that we're being sent back if we haven't like completed and learnt the lesson or the guidance that was being given over you know the last two days. You can't skip a step. You have to revisit. So we've got the Hermit. I'm going to read the Hermit card for you. I'm not going to read what the page of Michael. It says an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Let's have a look at what the Hermit wants to say, seeing as it's a major arcana. The fool begins to think for herself. And this is what you need to do, Divine Masculine. You need to think for yourself. There's one feminine, she's holding that light up for you to see. We're just not looking. You're blocking it with your, uh, your black kite here. Looks very vibrant. It does look a bit dull there, Divine Masculine, where you are. There's an owl swooping in behind you, giving you messages, showing you the way. The Divine Feminine standing right in front of you, but you blocked her out with this kite. Okay. The fool wanders, wanders, not wonders, she wanders. The fool wanders in the darkness with a lantern for light. She will soon discover that what she seeks in her shadow side are all her suppressed emotions. The lantern's light connects with the heavens. She is being guided on this journey and she's bringing heaven to earth. For both of you, Divine Masculine, but she's bringing it for herself, regardless. Okay. The third chakra message, the fool is bathed in orange, an indication that she is in the second chakra of her emotions, using a lantern from the third chakra to see what she needs to do. Yet, in order to progress, she must find the feelings she has kept hidden, which will be the key to opening her heart. The indication, here in the third chakra card, we are looking at externally when the answer lies within. If we are the answer, why look for it outside of ourselves? Keywords, reflection, study, fire, seeking, searching, contemplation. Lots of soul searching going on yesterday. Okay. The meditation, sometimes it is best to be in the dark as the solutions cannot easily be revealed in the light. The lantern holds your instinct and ability to think beyond this moment. You still carry the energy from what you have learned. Can you apply what you know? Is this what soul seeking is? Are you willing to look at the true plan your emotions have led you to? Okay, the next steps, well, the Wheel of Fortune, it's not even the Wheel of Fortune that's a hermit, but we do have the Wheel of Fortune here. 
The Wheel of Fortune indicates the manifesting energy of the Divine Feminine. The Fool has learned of the true power she has held inside. She is now using it to change her fate. Will it change yours too? Divine Masculine. Dun, dun, dun. We're leaving it there until we get to the Heart Chakra tomorrow with that story. Let's have a look at what was the underlying energy to uh, clarify the lovers here and we have the Three of Wands waiting for that manifestation. Looks like she's Jesus walking on water here. we we'll read it. Three of Wands. The card of intentional thought. I wanted to read this one earlier. I was reading the Three of Swords. And we started off, she sends her emotional energy into the Wands crystal of manifestation. Her focus has calmed the sea of emotions surrounding her. The stars imply the magic has happened. The spell has been cast. Can you ignite all the wands and allow them to light the way to your destiny? She's like, three wands? I can do ten. Where are you? I saw you with ten wands. Whereabouts was that? Hmm. I'm sure I saw ten wands on the table. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Look, she's all over the place. She could do ten. Light that shit up around the world. Pew. Wherever she focuses her intention, it lights up um, that part of the world. That's beautiful, isn't it? Anyway. She sends... We're going to start again. No, we're not. Can you ignite all the wands and allow them to light the way to your destiny? She says, I sure can. Chakra message. Adjust your internal thermostat in preparation for receiving what you desire. Your future is in your own hands. Direct the emotional power discovered in the prior chakra. Harness transformational energy, the power of the mind without needing external validation. Indication, do not make decisions that are overly emotional. Rein in hasty impulses. Keywords, expansion, journey, vision, cooperation, luck and magical thought. The meditation is imagine the glowing yellow crystal on the wand. Allow its power to ignite and energise your plan. Do you experience higher consciousness? Contemplation, harnessing your inner fire is the key to visions becoming reality. What an exciting reading today. Okay, let's pull this oracle card. From the Chakra Wisdom Oracle deck. And let's see, there's seven cards here from the yellow section. We're only going to be pulling one. And this is the one we have. And it's dissipating. Canary yellow. I am more than I think I am. The legend. Canary, a bet. A, a what? <laughs> a pet bird. A pet bird has wonderful ideas for an action movie starring his owner, Mrs. Robinson. They frequently discuss. This just reminds me of like if you was having an affair with someone, you might call them like Mrs. Robinson again. And I feel like the divine masculine has all these great ideas for the divine feminine. Okay. Anyway, Canary, a pet bird has wonderful ideas for an action movie starring his owner, Mrs. Robinson. They frequently discuss the exciting plot with friends and family, but when they are given money to make the screenplay a reality, Canary and Mrs. Robinson choose to go on a cruise instead. For the rest of their lives, they talk about their great story and exist in fantasy, not reality. I actually feel like this is the Divine Masculine talking about, especially with himself, over and over in his mind, um, about plans that he would, you know, he dreams of having with the Divine Feminine. Those seeds of intentions that you planted, Divine Feminine, in your Divine Masculine's mind. And likewise, 
Um, you kind of know what each other like and desire and want. Uh, and um, I feel like when the opportunity comes along, it's like the Divine Masculine didn't take it. And maybe the Divine Feminine didn't take it before now. And it's like, but nothing's stopping the Divine Feminine. So Divine Masculine. Divine Feminine might be using her money to go on a cruise ship, okay? <laughs> if that's what she wants to do. She's free to do as she wants. Um, it feels like it's you that's kind of doing all the dreaming. And it's up to you whether or not that's actually going to become your reality. The Inspiration. Beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell. Do you intend to do what you say? I feel the Divine Feminine, she's like, yep, I'm not waiting. So like, it does look like you're there, Divine Masculine. So, like, it feels like the Divine Feminine, she's like waiting for you to kind of, I don't know, stop being like such a secret agent. But the time's come. It's time to get up and get cracking with life, with the Divine Feminine's own uh, vision. So beware of being imprisoned by the story you tell. Do you intend to do what you say? The personal inquiry, a lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? The key ideas, taking action, content to dream, going in circles, strong intelligence, making excuses and procrastinating. Keywords, companionship, connection and assistance. The meditation, sit quietly with what you speak of so frequently. Take a breath. What do you wish to do? Become aware of the feeling in your body. Is it apprehension? Enthusiasm? In your mind's eye, take one step towards carrying out your wish. For example, are you thinking of writing a book? Pull out the first sheet of paper or turn on the computer, then take the next step, then the next. Will you dream it or do it? That's a great title. Will you dream it or do it? This is awesome, awesome reading. Okay, secret language of colour cards. Amber, awaken your creativity. Look at this, the orange and the yellow. That's beautiful, look. Let's see if Amber's in the book. Card number 15. Awaken your creativity. Amber is a fantastic colour for increasing your creativity and strengthening your manifestation abilities. It generates deeper bonds in relationships and teaches you how to give and receive affection. Warmth, optimism, courage and spontaneity are among Amber's gifts. Wear Amber to awaken your creative talents and abilities. Creativity. Hold a piece of amber or wear an amber pendant to remind you of your fun, created, created, your fun, creative, uninhibited self. Think of five adventurous things you would love to do. Pick the one that appeals to you the most and do it today. This could be singing, dancing, painting, writing or creating something. Give yourself permission to be play-like, child-like and joyous. Do it to find that something. Have some fun. Let yourself have some fun. Say, infinite intelligence, awaken my creative talents and abilities, freeing me to participate in amazing and fun experiences. Okay, I'm going to end on a journey of love, guys. Mermaids and dolphins want to speak first. And then I'm going. And tomorrow, it's Green Day. Let's get a, uh, a message from the magical mermaids and dolphins.
Divine Feminine, this is so much about you um, relaxing. It, you, it is kind of showing you in the hermit mode, which means that you know when to take time out and step into your intuition, okay? The two messages that have come through is tranquility. Divine Masculine, follow suit, grab yourself a nice bath, chill out, relax. It says make time to relax, be still and enjoy your solitude, in, indulging in much needed self-care. It's finding the balance here, tranquility, there's a beautiful bus fly out there. Okay, tranquility. And then we have, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. I'm going to read this one. Yes, yes. Look, there's even a bit at the back here for notes. Seriously, look. Did you take notes? Yes. You're fairly certain about your next move and you've pulled this card as additional validation which will spur you into action. This card confirms that your intuition is accurate and that you can trust it fully. The joy you feel knowing that your intuitive feelings are valid may be tempered by the fear of making life changes. Heaven wants you to know, however, that all of the details are being taken care of. You're supported in all ways as long as you ask for help and then accept it as it comes to you in various forms. That's awesome. Okay. Yes. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. If you would like some validation, it confirmed with a reading through me, put yourself in for a Celtic cross reading. Okay. Let's end on this journey of love. And I shall say cheerio until tomorrow. What a beautiful day. It is a stunning day out there. There's the card. It is Dance of the Planets, card number 56. There are forces larger than your own personal destiny at work in your life now. Although they are not inharmonious to you, you may feel as though you are being blocked from, or on the other hand, rocketed towards the heavens on a roll that nothing can derail. Felt like it was getting the ball rolling. Said she was on a run. Either way, the planets are dancing as they will and there is an effect upon your destiny. It was meant to be at this time. From rising, there will be gentle rest to recover before rising again. And from restraint, there will be propulsion into greater stratospheres. All things in time, according to the wisdom of greater cycles. It is okay to trust in the cosmic cycles and divine timing. After all, what point is there to rush to the bus stop if the bus doesn't depart until tomorrow? And what point is there to hold back if you are ready and set to go? Trust in the timing and rhythm of your life now, especially if it seems out of your control. That is the dance of the planets happening through you. The oracle brings a message. Pray that the planetary forces funnel blessings of grace and unconditional love, mercy and joy to you now. That their movements through your life may happen in such a way that you can make the most of it. These are the times when big shifts are possible, supported by cosmic movements. So pray for grace and then enjoy the ride. Okay, here's the poem. Next card is the lovers. Tomorrow. In those days, time was ours. We walked in the rain and held each other's hands. Your lips warm against my skin and your soul melting into mine as night becomes morning amongst the cobblestone walks of now forgotten places we called owls. Wow. That's just bringing in the past life 
relationship um, where divine counterparts have, you know, um, maybe attempted and failed in past lives to actually come into full physical and spiritual unity. Okay. Will it be this lifetime? Well, the divine feminine stepping into her own. So, um, divine masculine. Well, it's really a decision that um, you're needing to make for yourself. Okay, have yourself a fantastic Wednesday, and I will catch up with you soon. Okay, take care. Much love. Bye for now.